Hi guys, so Marita Vilato here, the Basement Production. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I seal my 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 chimney, the burner on my chimney. Uh, it's a mess, it has some crack on it. Uh, they was gonna charge me like 600 bucks to do the exterior and interior of it. So what I did was I went to my local hardware store and I purchased this cement. I don't know if you can see it. It called high heat furnace cement. I purchased one of the spatula and I apply it myself. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna do the second coat because in this rain uh, last night, very heavy, it messed it up a little bit. But this cost me $12.98 to do it yourself. This is a DIY project, you could do it in a couple of minutes. I mean, it's, 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 it's really nothing to it. So before I uh, show you how I did it, please don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to, to hit the notification bell. Leave your comment down below. If you have a better method, a better solution, let me know and I will, and I will, and I will, and I will reply to you. So once again, Omarete Vilato, the Basement Production. Thank you for watching. What you're seeing right now is my, my burner on my chimney. Had cracks all over the place from the bottom, um, all the way to the side of it. Uh, all the four sides or all the three sides of the, of the burner on my chimney had cracks, very huge cracks, which is very dangerous. It's a fire hazard. You don't supposed to be burning anything, any wood, when your stuff look like this. I mean, it, and I was burning wood for the last five years. Uh, not knowing that 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 was very troublesome, you know, you you could you could cause a big a big fire in your house. Um, if you not if you don't want to do this yourself, my suggestion is to hire a, a, a contractor, hire a company, so they could come in and, and, and resurface this, do it do it do it the proper way. Uh, you know, it's gonna cost you a little bit of money, um, but hey, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be properly done. As you could see, huge cracks. Uh, from the bottom to the top. And uh, I did hire a company. After doing some research, I really didn't want to touch this. So I did hire a company, it cost me a little bit of, a little bit of, bit of, of money, sorry. And uh, unfortunately, the weather and the, and the raining, snowing, they, they couldn't come. And so I decided I couldn't wait for them any longer. I needed to take care of this matter. As you could see, cracks all over the place. Um, uh, and it, it was scary. And, uh, and I and after doing more research, uh, but before I continue, uh, this 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 part right here to resurface the, the my burner was going to cost me roughly a little bit more than six hundred bucks to waterproof the chimney to to put new cement, and I said, wow, that's that's quite some amount of money after I already spent almost two thousand dollars in fixing one end of the of, of the whole process. So I did I did more research. And uh, I came up, as you can see what I'm doing right now, is the cement was so loose, I didn't even have to use special tools. Hammer and a screwdriver, and I was able to clean all that stuff out of there. Like I was saying, I just went to my local hardware store, and I purchased a high heat furnace cement. High heat furnace cement. It cost me $12.98. You know how much money I save? I save easily almost six hundred dollars i'm not saying it's, it's perfect uh this is just a temporary solution until i until i decided uh, to i decide to do a, a better job to it but this stuff works i seen it i watched some videos i did some research and this is mostly what the professional use in a higher in a higher scale in a, in a, in a, at another level but us as a homeowners and as a diyers this is a project that you could tackle uh, yourself. It's gonna take you from half an hour to two hours, depends how you want it to look. Me, I really didn't want it to look in reality pretty. I wanted to look nice, of course. But, but I just, my, my main concern here was to make sure I cover all those big cracks uh, that I did uh, uh, resurface my furnace uh, with this cement and uh, so I could use it for, the, for this winter. And as you could see, I just chip it away. I just chip away the, some loose cement with just screwdriver and a hammer. It was nothing to it. It took me like two hours. I did two, I did two coats of, of the cement because uh, the first one, I just wanted to make sure I covered the whole cracks. And then the second one, just to reassure that it looked a little bit neat, a little bit clean. And, uh, you know, to, to, make, to make sure that, uh, the, that it, will, it, was, it, was, it was going to be secure. As you could see there, uh, it's a little bit, I just, I'm just right now waiting to, so it could get hard. So like that, I could test it out and see how it really works. 
uh, but I think it came out super good. Uh, I mean, I just, I, I did, the main purpose here was, to, like I said, was to cover the cracks. That was my most uh, uh, important steps, to cover the cracks. Uh, like I said, it saved me roughly $600. I proud of that you go to your local hardware store, and you can go to Home Depot, you can go to Lowe's, for $13. Come on, it cannot better. It can, it cannot get better than that. You could do it yourself. You buy a spatula for four or five dollars. You could just tackle this job on a weekend. This is a week. This is what I call a weekend job. Okay, this is what I call a weekend job. I think that's the second code that I apply, and I sure I don't think I think it is. And and like I said, it came out. It came out good. Once I start burning wood, this grayish color that you see there. You're gonna blend in into the into the into the into the blocks into the cinder blocks, and it should be fine. It should be it should be okay. It should be no problem. Uh, hopefully, probably down the line, I will I will tackle it a little bit bigger. I will do a better job. I will insert the cinder block myself because uh, it's nothing to it. So don't be afraid. Uh, do it yourself. Save ton of money. And I mean, it, it cannot get better than this. I'm telling you guys, it cannot get better than this. Okay, there you have it, guys. I just finished applying the second coat of the uh, high heat furnace cement. Like I said, it only cost me $12.98. It's a DIY project, one hour, two hours, depending how you wanna, how you wanna make it look. Uh, right now, it doesn't look pretty, it doesn't look neat, but eventually, once it's dry, once it mash, everything inside here, and once I start burning wood into my burner here in the, in the chimney, uh, all that gray, all that stuff that look gray, it will start matching the cement block inside of the the burner, and it should be it should be okay. Uh, like I said, this stuff I I save around six hundred something dollars. No kidding you aside, I save like six hundred something dollars. I apply two coat. I still got some leftovers because I want it to look a little bit decent. I just I don't want it to look. I mean I want I don't want it to look perfect. I just want it to be able to cover the crack which that's the most important thing so hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to leave your comment down below click that notification bell so every single video that i make go directly to you once again thank you for watching omar tevila todo basement production